Yesterday, these streets were filled with traders and customers from all corners of the country. But on the first day of the Kampala city traders' strike, which began this morning, there was nothing to do and nothing to eat for those depending on casual work in downtown Kampala to eke out a living. Most people heeded the call by the leaders of Kasita, who yesterday announced that all traders should close their shops and withdraw all the money from banks. Today, the traders' PRO Isa Sechito says they received a message from the president's protocol team calling them to meet him at State House Nakasero to discuss a way forward to the current strike action. We think that uh, by the time we come out of the meeting, maybe we might be ready to call a general traders' meeting and update them on the proceedings. However, Kasita leaders, who first held a private meeting at Katikati restaurant, vowed not to alter their stance. So whether it is marching on the streets, we are also human beings and Ugandanese, we can do everything. The strike action, they say, can only be halted if interest rates be revised on old loans. Traders say interest rates of up to 27% are crippling their business. Uganda's central bank raised rates last year when the inflation hit more than 20%. In the city center, most traders prefer to stay home, but a few manage to withdraw their money from the banks. People are suspicious. You enter, they look at you, you look at the securities around, and then you don't know whether you are safe to get this or you are not safe. In Ichikubo, one of the busiest trade centers in town, most of the shops were closed. It is a sweet and bitter state of affairs because most of the traders here in Ichikubo, this is the time when they expect a high customer turn up, shopping for most especially the children who are going back to school soon. The exception to the rule appeared to some traders selling scholastic materials who opened their shops to rake in the money for the season. Kampala is an East African trading hub and many of the people unable to shop have come from other parts of Uganda as well as Eastern Democratic Republic of Congo and South Sudan. However, traders say that they will continue withdrawing their money from the banks even after the three-day strike is concluded. Still, be a hunger. NTV.